most people need something bad to happen before they make a change. They need something to go terribly wrong <laughs> before they change one damn thing about their life, about their health and wellness. Oh, did you hear about did you hear about Brother Frank? He's in a he's in a hospital now. Y'all send prayer. Everybody send prayer. We're praying for you, Frank. We're praying for you. When the truth is, Uncle Frank been knowing his shit is on eggshells for years. And ain't done nothing to, to prevent it. He been knowing that shit for years, Frank. People doing daredevil stunts with their health. Waiting for something bad to happen before they can take action on something. And so that's, this, this is what I'm thinking about right now. How, I mean... I spent a lot of time putting an audio book together about health, wellness, weight loss for people. And now I'm in the position to actually promote it and get it in the hands of people to possibly help people. And I'm like, anybody going to want this? Because they, they, they waiting for a catastrophe. <laughs> they, they waiting for a catastrophe to happen first. But anyway, anyway, if, if you one of the bright few that says, hey, you know what? I need to get my shit together right now and stop playing Russian roulette. If you're one of those guys, check out the link at, in this post somewhere. There's a link here. And take a look at what I'm doing with this audiobook. Subconsciously or consciously, most people know that they're walking on eggshells in their, in, in their health and wellness life. They know it. You don't have to tell them. They already know it. Frank been knowing that shit for years. He been knowing that, he been knowing his, his burger train is running off the rails for years. Ain't done shit about it until something really tragic happens. Now, oh y'all pray, y'all pray for me, y'all pray for me. So I ask you, I, I, I'm gonna be straight too. Is is that a bright way to live your life? Is that bright? Think about it. Is that smart? I'll let you answer it. I'm not even going to say it. You know. You know. Prevention is the word. Prevention. Getting off your ass and doing something about something that you know ain't right. That's it. And you know why I'm saying that? Because I see it on social media every day. Y'all pray for me. Pray for Frank. I see it every day. Especially on Facebook where there's more middle-aged people. You know, <laughs> you can go through your entire life having a certain health and wellness protocol or whatever, certain lifestyle, but one day it's going to catch up with you. And it usually catches up with you right around, uh, what was it, 45, 50, 55, 60. It's going to catch up with you. And when it gets you, it got you. And I'm going to tell you, most of y'all's health, it ain't as good as you think it is. Your health is not as good as you think it is. Just because you've done, I've been doing this, I've been doing this my whole life. Just because you've been doing it your whole life, don't mean you can continue doing it. That's the trick bag. You can be flying a plane in a, in a fog. <laughs> Planes headed for the ground. You flying in the fog. Hey, I, don't, I think you need to pull up. I think you need to pull up. I ain't pulling shit up. I've been doing this my whole life. You get about 50 feet from the ground. Oh, shit. Bam. But I thought you said you've been doing it your whole your life. I, 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 I. <laughs> Last words. Don't be that, don't be the pilot. <laughs> don't be the pilot. Anyway, let me, <laughs> let me get out of here.